Hold on. I'll let you guys hear it start. It's very quiet right now. But, first try. So this is going to be our first, oh, my first real ride on this bike. One thing I've really done is rode it home. Um, as you guys can see, the speedometer doesn't work. Everything on it works. The RPMs work, the, the time works, the gear works. Speedo, I mean not speedo, the um, gas gauge works. Um, I already had everything apart hoping it was just like a loose wire um, but it's not and uh, I did take the front wheel off and spin the uh, speedo wire and it does not work so I have a new one in the mail coming so you won't be seeing this bike very much until I get that speedo wire because I want to know I want to be able to keep track of my miles so we're probably gonna go on a short little back road ride and that's it. But uh, I won't get into first impressions too much until we are actually going on the ride. Uh, right now I gotta get back to work. But yeah, other than the Speedo, I actually do like the bike. Just have not got to ride it much. Guys, you can see everything is fucked right here. Whoops. The fuel injection seems smooth, way nicer than the Hawks, and the Hawks isn't too bad, as I have the DLX, and uh, this the fuel injection is not bad. It idles really nice. Uh, when I first got it, it was idling at fucking almost 4,000, but it corrected itself. Will it pop a wheelie? Uh, yes, actually, yes it will. See, I have no clue how fast I'm going. Drives me nuts. It says it has a 10,000 RPM red line, but this looks like it only has nine. He probably has no clue who I am. <laughs> That's my old neighbor, but I have a helmet and everything on. You guys do not care, I know. See, I've never had it out of fourth gear yet, so I am excited to hit some uh, back roads and get it up to speed. Uh, I should still have a GPS app on my phone. I won't be able to put my phone anywhere, but we can at least see how fast we were going. But, I don't know. I will see you guys after work. Sorry, I had to stop at my friend's house real quick. He gave me stickers. But all right, let's go on the actual ride and do a first impressions video. So, I know it doesn't, it can't, but it feels like it has a centrifugal clutch. <laughs> I don't know how else to, to say that. It's just really weird. It's got that windy feeling like they like the centrifugal clutches have. It's not. It's 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 uh it's a it's a manual six speed. It just feels like a centrifugal clutch. I don't know how to explain it. Especially when you're slowing down, man. If it wasn't for the fact that I have to keep shifting gears, I would think it had a centrifugal clutch. Huh, I just realized going through this on a street bike might not be smart. I'm used to my dual sports. Oh, yeah, definitely not dual sport. It is really fun to ride. Like, uh, 
I don't know. Might just be me because I'm not used to street bikes. Look, I forgot to pull out the GPS. I'm gonna pull over right here. Edit this crap out. This probably isn't going to work. Um, I don't have very good service. It says it's waiting for a reliable GPS signal. Uh, I'm going to put it in my pocket. We'll take it out at the end of the ride. See if I get a top speed or not. That idle's really nice. Especially for being brand new. And it does have... It does have a little bit of low and torque. Like, uh... You could definitely pop a wheelie. Fourth gear. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like we're booking it. Like, I, I, we can't be, but it feels like we are. Um. For my thoughts on the bike, it doesn't have braided brake lines, which I'm disappointed. Um, the Hawk, the original Carb Hawk, some of those come with braided brake lines. And this is $1,000 more at the cheapest that I could find it. So you would think it would have had braided brake lines, but uh, I guess not. Man, I really hate not knowing how fast I'm going. This thing feels wobbly as hell. We're in fifth gear. Sixth gear. Has a 10,000 RPM red line, but I can't get it past 75. This is maxed right now. This thing's not very fast. I can tell you this right now. Uh, it's fun to ride though, I'll give it that. Um, if you're looking for something, let's say I know a lot of you guys have Hawks. If you're looking for something that's faster than the Hawk, go ahead and say this ain't it. an exhaust and stuff it feels like we're booking it it really does it just it can't it can't be we're not going there fast it is fun to drive though um, it has nylon tires that's stupid so those are getting replaced instantly like I've never heard anybody having trouble but I just don't see nylon truck tires, especially on a motorcycle. Going around corners and shit, this sounds dangerous as shit to me. Um, so those are being replaced. I'm going to go up a size in the front and up a size in the back. The tires are very skinny on this. Um, I think the bike weighs 330 pounds. I think. It's just a little heavier than the Hawk. I'm gonna get a real test in a minute because this road normally sucks from gravel. God, I wish I knew how fast I was going. Look at all this gravel. Um, I don't really have anything bolted down the way it should be. 
I put this together at work. This is actually the first time I've ridden it, like really ridden it. I rode it home and that was it. So um, put it together at work and everything's pretty much hand tight, other than like the axles and stuff, obviously. But like all my turn signals, they're hand tight. Like they're not tight at all. Um, my mirrors, <laughs> my mirrors are hand tight. I think this one, wigg yeah, <laughs> this one wiggles. Um, so yeah, a lot of this is hand tight, so we can't do nothing too crazy. Hopefully that was not my mic disconnecting. That would be annoying. You can definitely feel the gravel on this road. Like on the Hawk, you don't even notice, but here, every little lean, you feel it slide a little bit. Um, now these are street tires and they're, they're nylon, like I said, so I'm gonna go ahead and blame it all on that. Nothing to do with the bike. And this bike really isn't meant for roads like this. I know you guys probably can't tell in the video, but this is, um, it's pavement with gravel on top, which is stupid. Um, so it's, it's pretty slick. Oh, like right there, that's a butt puckerer. Now I'm sure on regular roads, it's probably pretty nice. I don't know. This is just a first impressions video anyway. It's not like it's a real review. I'm not gonna say I love it or say I hate it yet. Um, I enjoy riding it. It's actually really comfortable. I didn't think it would be, but um, my butt feels nice. And uh, for lack of a better word, my man parts are actually very comfortable. Whereas on the, on the Hawk, you kind of ride your, uh, your ball sack. <laughs> I don't know how else to tell you that. Whereas this is really nice and cushioned. So I could definitely see this, tame this on a, you know, I could be on this thing a few hours, I think. At least a couple hours. On real road, not this, this sucks. I just wonder if they got something that's not quite a street tire. Like something that's just good for gravel roads, but you still put on a street bike. If you guys got any recommendations for something like that, let me know, because I was going to try and make this thing all about speed and try and get a top speed of 90 out of her, but uh, that ain't going to happen. I can already tell. There's no way this thing's ever going to hit 90. Um, I don't know. Maybe that exhaust really opens it up, because uh, I'm going to get an exhaust. I, I don't know. I was going to do the sprockets, but I can't get to the 10,000 RPM line in six speed already with how it's already set up. So I don't think lowering, I don't think fucking changing the gear, it's just gonna wind me out even more. If anything, I should probably take a tooth down in the front maybe, make it a little more torquey. It was like sixth gear was nothing. I did not need to change from fifth to sixth. And this road here, I've just been on in fourth the whole time. I have no clue how fast we're going. I have no clue. Man, this bike is comfortable though. Oh, my handlebars! <laughs> my handlebars are hand tight, so I go jerking on them, they'll fly off. Pretty much right now I'm riding a death trap because <laughs> I haven't worked on it. I'm, I, I, I was sick. Um, I literally just got better. And it's literally just been sitting beside the Hawk. And like I said, that Speedo cable, I think I already mentioned that. I have a new one coming. The windshield is pretty stupid, to be honest. I guess this is only a 200. It's supposed to make 17 horsepower though. That's the stock Hawk, not the DLX, I have no clue what it makes, but the stock carb Hawk makes 14, to the 14 or 15 horsepower stock. This claims 17 horsepower stock. Um, I'm not feeling it. I know it's only a two horsepower or three horsepower difference, but normally on small engines like this, you can feel an extra two or three horsepower. And I don't feel it. It feels, uh, feels less powerful than the Hawk, to be honest. Not impressed power wise. But like I said, just in first impressions, the engine is not broken in. Like, 
I know the speedo's not working, but probably, hell, I don't know, 10 miles, if that. Probably not even 10 miles, probably more like five. Like, I don't have shit on this. But see, I can't even get out of fifth gear right here. Oh man, coming up over a hill like that makes you feel like you're flying though. That was intense. I'm not used to being this far forward. This is aggressive driving for what I'm used to. And this is not a very aggressive forward facing bike for a street bike, for anybody wondering. It's just aggressive for me because I'm used to dirt bikes and dual sports and shit like that. I don't know. If this was the first bike I ever bought, like let's say I never bought the Hawk, I'd be impressed. The first Chinese bike, I mean. If this was the, f oh no, road closed. Ah, we're on a motorcycle. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I kind of cut myself off. If this was the first Chinese bike I ever had, if I never, because the Hawk, the regular carb Hawk was my first Chinese bike. Then I got the DLX and I got the Vader and I have this. If this was the first one, I would be impressed. But seeing as I've rode the Hawk, it's not doing it for me. Everybody said these had a, uh, what's the word? They're way better construct constructed wise. Like the quality of the metal and the steel and the parts. They said everything's way better than like a Hawk or a Vader, anything by life in really this, it was really nice. And I'm not feeling it. Like it's not bad, it just feels it feels like your typical Chinese motorcycle though. Like, it doesn't stand out like the Hawk does. Like, I think the Hawk has really made a name for itself for being pretty much the cheapest motorcycle you can buy that's still reliable. Like, yeah, there's cheaper. You can get a Vader or a fucking Hellcat or, oh man, there's so many different scooters out there that are Chinese, but they don't have as proven as a track record as the Hawk. And I can already tell you right now, the Vader has nothing on the Hawk. Like, the quality of the Vader is worthless. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry guys, I'm starting to ramble. First impressions. I like the bike, I do. Uh, a little disappointed. I think I'm going to ride it to work tomorrow. And then probably put it back up until I get the Speedo fixed. And uh, we will check this when we get back to the house, see if it picked anything up. Said the road was closed, but don't look closed. It does pull one second from a semi stop. It's not bad. There's no way. Can you make it up this, little buddy? <laughs> Not too bad. That's pretty steep for anybody wondering. So for street tires, went up the dirt pretty well. I'll do a little walk around for you. See, I still got the stickers on it, like, you can tell it's brand new. Nylon tires. Let's see, where's my brakes? Right here. Not braided brake lines, like I said, just rubber. And you see how skinny a back wheel is? Like that, that ain't much. So I'm gonna go up one size, front and back. That's getting changed, obviously. Let me know about mods. Um, I don't want to do too much because it's fuel injected. But uh, I'm definitely getting the exhaust. Make it sound a little meaner too, hopefully. It does have an oil filter, which is nice. The Hawk just has a screen. All right. I didn't have my location services on. So that's my bad. Sorry guys. Good morning everybody. 
As you can see, I decided to make this video a twofer. We could not not ride it today. It's going to be almost 70 something. It's already like 45 right now and it's 6 in the morning. It handles the train tracks really well. It's like small bumps on this thing, you do not notice at all, but big bumps are rough as hell. actually just invited on a group ride but I feel terrible like I just feel like shit so we're going home this should still be a decent video for you guys since I combined it into two days we will go home a different direction though Man, the wind blows the crap out of this bike. Way worse than the Hawk. It's crazy. I know you guys probably can't tell, but it is super windy, and I'm like just pretty much just keeping the bike upright. Crazy. We're not even going fast. I gotta fix this speedo because I am really having fun riding this. And that group ride would have been awesome, especially for YouTube. Been the KPR here, two Hawks, and then a Harley. Weird assortment of bikes, I know. I have a good group of riding friends though where we all just kind of ride weird different shit and no one really cares what the other person rides and it's nice. I mean, you kind of got some of those judgmental fucking dickwads. They're like, ah, oh, you ride a dual sport? Oh, you ride a Chinese motorcycle? You don't ride Harley? Oh, you're a piece of shit. And those people drive me fucking nuts. Like, I don't give a fuck if you're riding a Honda Grom, like, it's just as dangerous. Eh, let's go to the cemetery. We will do something small. Give me some time to pick over the bike. Um, here you can see the clutch, this clutch wire. I don't know if you guys can see this. But uh, it's already rubbing on the gas tank really bad, so I gotta do something about that. There was something else I wanted to point. Oh, the exhaust. 
there was something rattling so the reason you guys didn't see me ride on my lunch is because I decided to ride without the helmet so I could hear better so I rode back home without my helmet listening to the rattling it's exhaust um, the exhaust is not loose it, there's like a, a heat cover on it and it just vibrates because it's not loose I actually tightened it down and uh, just it's, a, it's annoying but that'll go away when I change the exhaust so no biggie see it's not very fast but it is quick like it accelerates pretty nice I don't know I, I, I need to quit commenting on the speed until I get the ah fuck that's what I wanted to do so the reason my GPS didn't work yesterday is because I didn't have location services turned on <laughs> my bad um, I was gonna do that but I don't know I, I don't I don't feel like driving somewhere that has a road where I can get to speed like, I really do feel like crap We're about to test some gravel. I'm actually nervous. Mm -hmm. You can tell they're street tires, but it's not horrible. I was really nervous about these nylon tires. As you guys know, because this is going to be the same video, totally different days for me, so it's a little weird. But, um, they seem fine. Like, I, I took some pretty good corners and no slippage or nothing. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm still going to replace them, like, just in case. Not going to take any chances with that shit. Definitely makes me think more on the corners. And gravel, I mean. I know how fast I'm going. It's killing me. Killing me. That's annoying. Fuck, not having a dual sport kind of sucks. It's okay, we figured it out. could have come in at the same time but that was nice of him 
Oh, that's not what it's the clutch. Okay. I thought being so forward forward far forward was hurting my hands. The clutch is hurting my hands because it's just my left hand. And it's when we went to the cemetery and I had to use it so much. Whew. Now I know. That rattling, if you guys can hear that, I don't know if you can, I know everything sounds different once it's in video, but uh, that's the exhaust. So this is probably the last you'll see the KPR for a while. Um, like I said, I gotta get that speedo fixed. <laughs> you probably are sick of hearing me say that. It's coming in the mail! God, I hate these fucking people. I gotta work on the back brake too. It's uh, not very strong at all. I can't even lock the back wheel up. And no, this does not have ABS, so I should be able to lock the back wheel up, no problem. And I'll try to show you the exhaust rattle too. It's this heat plate right here, and it's tight. I'm not gonna touch it because it's hot, but if you hold that heat plate, that rattle stops. There's hockey. nice tomorrow I might take him out actually uh, when I took this plastic off I didn't snap this back uh, okay no no I'm not to worry about that right now the wire quality on this thing is really shitty for anybody wondering Let's see, can I do it? Not if I kill the bike. Holy shit, it worked. Thanks for watching guys.